Next will be Representative Wheeland. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman, and thank you, Mr. Secretary, for your testimony. Um, your very last page where, uh, in your testimony where you're talking about uh, competition to the Pennsylvania Lottery, um, for me it was very disconcerting here. You don't mention anything about the 40 to 50,000 illegal video poker machines that are presently in the Commonwealth. Was there a reason that you left them out? You do not feel that they are competition? Illegal video machines are not competition to the lottery? Is that why that was left out? Right. <clears throat> so um, we're concerned about all competition. I think what we were referring to there is legal competition, other things that are uh, currently... Well, wait authorized. a minute, though. You just, in your testimony, you claim that these Pennsylvania skill games are illegal gambling, but yet now you're saying that you recognize them as legal. Nope, not what I'm saying. So we do see the skill machines as illegal. I, we agree with the state police's ruling on that. Um, and, and those skill machines are absolutely having an effect on the lottery. In fact, so over the last year, we've almost doubled the impact estimate. So right now, we have over 25% of Pennsylvania lottery retailers have at least one of those skill machines costing us over $200 million in scratch-off sales every year. A year ago, that estimate was about half of that. It was a little over $110 million. Okay, who was your, excuse me, but who was, I only have five minutes, who was your uh, researchers? You, you claim that there's researchers that conducted that study for you? Right, so we have... Is that in-house? Yeah, it's our, it's our gaming system supplier, but uh, the data is collected, uh, a lot of the data is collected by our sales reps out in the field. So we've been since sub September of 2017 going into stores and rec into our retailers, Pennsylvania Lottery retailers, and recording the presence of those machines. And so we've been able to link the presence or appearance of those machines with a decrease in Pennsylvania Lottery scratch-off sales and extrapolate that to an annual estimate of more than $200 million. Okay, I'd be very interested in seeing the data on that. Are you familiar with Peter Zaleski, head of economics at Villanova, and his research that is 180 degrees from your researchers? No, I'm not familiar with that. Maybe we should share notes. Um, so let's, uh, oh, and also additionally, are you aware or do you recognize the fact that the Pennsylvania skill games pay the last 12 calendar months, they've paid $3.1 million in remitted sales tax? Do you recognize that? So all I'm tasked with is uh, at the lottery, we are taxed with generating money for the lottery fund to benefit older Pennsylvanians. Understood, We're but then do you also recognize or would you recognize that the 40 to 50, 60,000 estimated illegal poker machines have remitted zero revenue to the Commonwealth? To, to my knowledge, that's, that's correct. We, we're not um, getting any tax revenue from those illegal machines. Okay, let's, let's switch to uh, the contract. Uh, currently, the lottery has, in the past, contracted with scientific games. Uh, you are currently under a contract that was signed on December 19th, 2008, which was a five-year contract, renewable uh, for one-year increments. This is now, what, year 13, and we still have no contract with them? Could you explain the issues involved in that? Well, we, we do have a contract. We're working right now on, on an extension of that contract as we work the 2008 contract. Right, which was a 10-year contract. Uh, which initially. takes us to 2018. Right, and so um, in uh, 2015, we launched a, an RFP process. We started our RFP process to, for a new gaming system uh, supplier or for a new gaming system. And since then, have been engaged in um, launching an RFP and, and the RFP process since then. So for three years, you're working towards an RFP. What is the cost of that RFP to the lottery system so, to date? So we don't run the RFP. Uh, the Department of General Services is running the RFP. 
Um, but we obviously we serve as the subject matter experts on on that committee. Did you get uh, a bill from them? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, we don't pay for that service. Um, Who but, does? So I think that's part of the Department of General Services budget. I, I presume again we don't run that the RFP. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman.